Fabricio Andre recently passed the guard of Diego Pato using a leg drag. Now this is impressive because Pato is one on an absolute tear at the moment, and two because he has insane guard retention and even has his own specialized defense to the leg drag. All this stuff, like for example right here, and I put pressure, uh, sometimes I can like kick you that way, but like, like this. And now back outside. Yes. The leg drag is something that Fabricio uses a lot to great success. So we're going to be looking at the setup and the finishing details for it. So for the setup from this loose passing scenario, he just takes an ankle grip. From here, he looks to throw the foot across his body and close the distance. But throwing the leg across is not enough to secure the pass because after that, there's now a battle for knee control. So here he's bringing his body in front of the knee. But other times, like here, he's going to be using his hand to try and control the knee. If he can't control the knee, it gives them more of a chance of bringing their knee to the floor, giving them more hip mobility so they can bring the far leg in to retain. Now, even if he wins the battle for knee control, the high leg is still a threat, so he has to find ways of dealing with that. In this clip, his left elbow is so deep that it means the guard player can't turn their hips enough for a strong enough high leg. But here, Pato is going to manage to get his right leg all the way across, so Fabricio takes the hand that was initially the ankle grip and bats the leg out of the way. So we'll play it again. Initially, he's got the ankle grip. He throws the leg across his body, and now he gets the knee control. Now after that, it's just about dealing with the high leg. Now you might say this is all just speed and athleticism based, which is half true. But there's also a lot of timing that goes into this. For example, Cole has the double ankle grips here, but it's not until the guard player starts extending their leg to make a connection that he's going to begin the leg drag. Here Fabricio's opponent is keeping his knee closer to his chest, making the leg drag more forced and ultimately unsuccessful. And instead he tries pulling the leg past his body and going for an explosive knee cut. Hafa Mendes also uses this type of leg drag, but it's not from a loose passing situation. Instead, he's waiting for the guard player to bring that leg across like a butterfly hook, and then that's going to be his timing to go for the leg drag. Now let's look briefly at some ideas of how we can prevent the leg drag. Firstly, make strong connections to stop them disengaging and moving side to side. But if they're already on the outside, then we can circle our leg to prevent them getting a strong ankle grip. And then if they do manage to get the ankle grip, we make sure to keep our foot to the outside of their body rather than moving it to the center. So now if they do a leg drag, it's more forced and less based on timing. So we have a greater chance of recovering. And if all else fails, just sit up. You can't leg drag them if they're sat up. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful. Bye.